also to welcome Mr. Bob Wright and Mrs. Suzanne Wright, co-founders of Autism Speaks organization, and Ms. Samira al Qasmi of Ashafallah Center for Children with Special Needs from the state of Qatar, who and to thank them for hosting this amazing art exhibition in a cooperation with Qatar Mission that significant their tremendous efforts to raise awareness. Mr. Bob Wright and Mrs. Susan Wright, please, you have the floor. It's just so wonderful to be here. It's, I don't want this day to end. Um, thanks again for coming here. I mean, this is a day of historic proportions for all of us with autism. Now the world is truly talking about it, and many of these artists are talking about it through their art. This is an amazing exhibit, and I thank you all so much for participating. We have wonderful pieces here from the Shafala Center in Doha. We have from Malaysia and London and even New York. I can hope you can join me with great pride and celebrate this amazing art from these amazing children and adults with autism. And I particularly wanted to thank Rosie, uh, Dr. Rosie Martinez. Is she here? She has worked tirelessly to put this together. Here she is. I mean, a round of applause for you. It's just wonderful. Just fantastic. And as I said at the um, forum, I said, autism is speaking and the world is listening. Well, autism is speaking through the art and the world is looking. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to everyone. In honor of World Autism Awareness Day, we have an art exhibition uh, for your viewing pleasure. All of the artworks were created by individuals on the autism spectrum from around the world with an age range from seven years old through adulthood. The name of our art exhibition is Don't Diss the Ability. Today at this inaugural event, we are honored with the attendance of two of these remarkable artists. The first one is Amanda Lemonian. Amanda, where is Amanda? Amanda is only 12 years old. She has autism and she has written a poem entitled, I Have a Secret. Amanda is an amazing young girl and she is here with us today to deliver a very special, special message to the world. At this point, let me introduce you to Ms. Amanda Lavonia. A Little Secret by me, Amanda Lemonian. She looks like any other girl, but she has a secret. You might never suspect there is something different about her. She will often talk about ancient Egypt and nothing else, even if you don't want to hear about it. Or she might start talking about a movie she saw, and you won't have a clue what she is talking about. She is very well-meaning, but frequently misunderstood. She would never hurt anyone's feelings, but sometimes she does, and she doesn't even know it. Some say she is a little professor, and truly they are right. She knows a lot about what interests her. Her clothes bother her a lot. Just a little tag might be like sandpaper. She might have to change clothes five times a day just to try to get comfortable. Her food needs to taste just right or it won't be eaten. She thinks she can't go a week without ice cream. When there are a lot of people around, it gets hard to stay in control. Movement really gets to be confusing and makes her want to run. And in the lunchroom, when everyone is talking, she wants to stand up and say, be quiet. Noise is a real problem. And light. Light is a hundred times brighter to her. Oh, what a world she lives in. What is the secret she holds? It is called Asperger's Syndrome, a high-functioning form of autism. Many are suspected of having it. Einstein, Michelangelo, one out of every 150 children be diagnosed with autism this year. How do I know so much about Asperger's Syndrome? I know because I have it. 
Some say it is a disability, but I am a girl with dreams. I say I will take what God's given me, along with the challenge, and use it to fulfill the purpose he has for me. And so I say to you, if you know someone who seems a little different, look for something good. It will be there. It may be just a little secret waiting to be told. A dream waiting to unfold. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. That was beautiful. Did anybody notice that she didn't have a script? And for my three words, I need one. <laughs>